a lot of people don't recognize this, but Google really doesn't want your surfing on your own website to show up in your Google Analytics. So in other words, let's say you publish a brand new blog post. And so you then go test it. They don't want to see that in Google Analytics. They don't want to see you going and looking through your website to make sure that things are working correctly. They don't want to see any of that because what ends up happening is you behave differently than a normal visitor. For example, you go to a page, you don't necessarily click a link to get to another page off that page. So you'll be viewed as a bounce by Google. Or maybe some people try to cheat Google Analytics. So they'll come in and they'll click a bunch of links trying to trying to tell Google Analytics, hey, people who come to this web page do all these other things on my site. This is really great. So all those things are reasons why Google doesn't want your behavior on your own website to show up in Google Analytics. All right. So basically their statement is we don't want your data to show up. Now, a lot of people say, well, I'll just use incognito mode. That'll, that'll solve that. No, it doesn't. Actually, it doesn't do that at all. Incognito mode visits are still recorded just like everything else. They just can't attach it to you. Okay. So incognito mode is not the solution at all. There are basically two solutions. Number one, there is a function on Google Analytics where you can make it so that your IP address is not tracked by Google Analytics for that particular site. Somewhat complex, actually it's pretty easy to do, but if you're with Comcast or AT&T or something like that, your, your IP address can change and you don't know that it just changed. And so what it does is it makes it so that you can do it one day and then a week later your router re reboots or something happens, you're no longer on that same IP and now you're thinking you're not being measured by Google Analytics, but you are, okay? So that's not the best solution. Um, there is a better solution, which has a, some other advantages too. Let me show it to you. Okay, this solution is called Google Analytics Opt-Out Add-On. <laughs> How's that for a name? Google Analytics Opt-Out Add-On. It's actually a, a, a add-on to Chrome that was created by Google for this very purpose. But in addition to this, it also, basically what it does is it makes it so that it tells Google Analytics JavaScript not to send information to Google Analytics. So, and it does it on your own website and any other website that you're on. So basically what it does is it makes you somewhat invisible to Google Analytics, which is interesting for some people, and I won't say anything more on that. What I will say is this. The cool thing about this is once you go to just search for Google Analytics opt out add on and make sure you're actually on the one that has the Google logo on it. Cause there's another one that sort of looks like this. that doesn't have the Google logo and it's not the same thing. So you want the one that's by Google. Okay. Get on it. And then you turn it on for Chrome and then it's on. Now, if you're somebody who has multiple different websites, or let's say, for example, you have clients that have multiple different websites and you do things for them. You update their web page or whatever it is. You, this is perfect for that because once you turn this on, you're not going to show up on any of your clients or any of your own websites. So you don't have to think, okay, am I, do I have this different website? Do I have a different IP address? Oh, I've got to go change my blockage, my filter actually on 10 different websites out there. You simply turn this on once and it's on and it solved the problem for you. So I think this is great. I think you ought to do it. Google analytics opt out add on it's works with Chrome. It's free. It just solves the problem for you in so many ways. So there you go. There's my recommendation. This is Don Crowther saying, 
just go do this stuff. Mm-hmm.